Springfield, Ohio has been in the news lately after J.D. Vance and Donald Trump made public claims that Haitian immigrants have infiltrated the town and started eating geese, dogs, and cats. In Springfield, they're eating the dogs. Additionally, residents from Springfield have made claims that the Haitian immigrants are bad drivers. These Haitians are running into trash cans. They're running into buildings. They're flipping cars in the middle of the street. This is solidified by the stories like when last year a migrant crashed his car into a school bus, killing an 11-year-old child. But unfortunately, accidents like this happen all too often, so this doesn't mean it's the fault of Haitian drivers, but rather a single driver that happened to be Haitian. But it could also be the fault of the government for allowing Haitian immigrants with a valid Haiti license 13 months to drive before they have to take the Ohio license test. I keep my political opinions out of my videos, the main reason being that I'm not educated enough to talk about most issues, but also I just like to have fun with my videos and politics are very divisive. I'm a DoorDash driver after all. In this video, I'm trying to solve three questions. One, are the Haitian immigrants eating people's pets? Two, are the drivers as bad as people say? And three, and possibly most importantly, is DoorDash in Springfield profitable? Well, I drove 45 miles north to find out. All right, guys, we just made it to Springfield, Ohio. We're at Snyder Park right now, which is supposedly, allegedly, the park where Haitian immigrants were taking the geese and eating them. Now, is that true? I have no idea. We did do a little bit of investigating here at the park today, but we didn't see any Haitians, and we also didn't see any geese. All right, guys, so I'm here over by the water at the park, and I don't see any geese. Um, we did see a few ducks, and they took off running or whatever the duck equivalent of running would be uh, pretty quickly um, once they saw me now I don't know if they're trained to do that uh, you know kind of run away when they see people um, due to recent events but um, yeah they I mean you can see there's some right there if the camera woman would go ahead and just kind of zoom in there um, but yeah so there's some here but it's it's very possible that you know I mean these are all babies where are the parents I mean that's what I'd be thinking but that's not really my um, my you know cup of tea. I, I'm just a DoorDash driver at the end of the day. I like to deliver food and make a little bit of side cash. And today that's what we're doing. I have to watch my words very carefully as um, you know, I don't want to lose any sponsors. I don't want to say anything that's extremely controversial, but Um, so let's go ahead and start our dash. As you can see, the pay here is $14.25 an hour. Um, so I guess I'll just go ahead and start it here at Snyder Park, the, um, the alleged geese eating park. And let's go ahead and see if we get any offers. Um, there is a Chick-fil-A nearby. Um, so not a dog filet, as I might think when I hear of Springfield, Ohio. It's actually a Chick-fil-A. I'll meet you when I get my first order. All right, guys. So I waited five minutes for my first offer. It's Panda Express, $14.25 an hour again, earned by time. Uh, let's go ahead and accept it. It's uh, one item. As you can see, they got a plate of fried rice, uh, chow mein. Let's go ahead and head to Panda Express. Walk in the woods. Found a dollar, found a, found a dollar. Did they tip? Let's go ahead and see. And they did. They tipped $2.50. Uh, $9.32 for 28 minutes. I think that's not too bad. Yeah, so I'll meet you at my next offer. After this Panda Express order, I stopped by some random McDonald's location to use their bathroom, and I found this trash can with a handful of pennies on top. As I'm on my grind, I considered taking them and adding it to my DoorDash total, but I felt like if I did, then John Quinones from What Would You Do would barge in mid-piss with a camera crew, asking me why I stole money from a Haitian immigrant. So I left them there. But luckily, shortly after this, I received my next offer. All right, guys, so I just got my next offer. It's Chick-fil-A. Now, it's going 10 miles, so maybe some of you wouldn't have taken that. Um, but it's a lot of food. See, I'll go ahead and lift up the drinks. Oh, this is like a dumbbell, dude. Four large drinks. Man, that's a lot of corn syrup. But anyways, let's go deliver this order. We're going to see how much this one ends up paying. On my way to deliver this Chick-fil-A, I thought I saw my first instance of a bad driver being pulled over in action. However, instead, as I got closer, I realized it was just the local sex offenders picking up trash. So I carried on, and 10 miles later, I got to a military base where I delivered my customers food. All right, guys, this was going to what I think is a military base, but let's go ahead and confirm. And 15.09, so $7 base, $8 tip. Honestly, I will take it. That's not too bad for 30 minutes. Now, I do have to drive all the way back. That's uh, unfortunate. It left me out of my zone. Um, no zone exit bonus pay or whatever. 
That's kind of lame, but. We're on the move again. We're on the move again, that's right. Bruh, bruh, what is that? 14 miles. Now, I'm going to take it because I'm really just taking everything. I'm trying to get an idea of what the driving is like here, what the orders are like here. Uh, 14 miles is quite the drive. So, uh, we're in the boonies. I don't even know where we're at. I mean, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know what this is. We're in, um, corn. we're in corn, corn. We're in corn. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and accept what well, we already did. Let's go ahead and get to this restaurant, McDonald's. It's a wonderful place to eat at. Great place for kids and babies. And let's go ahead and um, <laughs> deliver it. So after driving 10 miles through seemingly only corn, I wasn't even convinced there was a McDonald's out here, but there was. Now something interesting happened here. Right, bro. All right, so I just get there, and this guy is telling me that uh, that nobody ordered from him. He was a little bit rude, I'm not going to lie. So I'm going to have to contact him. He said it's 100% the wrong address. That's his word, so. Hello, um, this is your DoorDash driver. I have a delivery here for... Um, and I actually just arrived, but when I went inside, they told me that, that that's the incorrect address no one there ordered from. So it's just making sure that that's oh, the correct address. you're not at elementary school uh no i'm at i'm not from the area but no i'm definitely not at a school i apologize let me see it says you were near me oh it should be i'm not sure they must have hit the wrong number on there i apologize no that's okay all right i'll be there momentarily yes i apologize no that's okay Thank you. bye okay they did put the wrong address you guys saw how i handled that phone call i'm kind of a pro so let's go ahead and find this elementary school. I'm gonna have to censor, every time I said that address, I'm gonna have to censor it. When I was delivering over there, I walked over by the school, I heard this kid, he went, I hate this stupid school. Uh, me too, buddy. But listen, once you get into the real world and you're out there delivering cheeseburgers for a living, I promise you might hate that a little bit more. So let's go ahead and complete this delivery. Um, I'm definitely at the correct address, but you know, a uh, customer asked me to deliver here. All right, let's go ahead and complete it. And they tipped $4, uh, 14 miles for 1065. Pretty fucking bad. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it and say that's good. On to the next delivery. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. You might be wondering why I'm mysteriously laughing. Well, that's because I just received a stack order on Earn by Time and these pay big bucks. Um, what? <laughs> what? These pay big bucks. They do. So anyways, we have a stack of Bob Evans and Starbucks, I believe. Uh, let's go ahead and see. Now, the Starbucks order is a single pink drink, so instant red flag, as you know. If you saw my Earn by Time uh, guide video, we know, you know, a single pink drink, um, that's, you know, not necessarily good news. But I'm going to go ahead and get in Bob Evans, pick up this order, and I will show you how much this stack offer pays. Little did I know, I would be waiting in this Bob Evans for 30 minutes. Meanwhile, my girlfriend just sat in the car waiting impatiently while she doom scrolled on her phone. I just waited fucking forever in there. When you see the base pay on this order, you're gonna think I milked it. I promise I did not. Um, I'm picking it up now 21 minutes past my pickup time, so that's just absurd. But yeah, let's go and pick up our Starbucks. This base pay is gonna be fat. Second order of the stack was ready as soon as I got in there, um, as to be expected. Oh, hi. Fancy seeing you here. I was just recording. Oh. Hi! Oh! Of course, the second order was ready as soon as I walked in, because how could it not be? Upon completing the second part of this stack, I was even tipped $5 in cash. So how much did the whole stack pay? Well, it was $17.79 plus $5 in cash, making this an almost $23 stack for 52 minutes. I don't know guys, this is looking pretty good. I ended the shift here before an hour drive back home and I made $57.85 in two hours and 55 minutes, which is $19.74 per hour. Are Haitian immigrants eating people's pets? I did not see it. Are the drivers as bad as people say? I can only speak for what I saw, but the worst drivers I saw were the old white people. And lastly, is dashing in Springfield profitable? Eh, it's aight. I just fucking farted, so it's gonna stink so bad. I have a, uh, this is like a new version of a farmer's tan. I don't really know what it is, but I, I just noticed that's where my ice is. That's where I keep the ice on my wrist. On my wrist like Anyways, I, I, you know, I'm starting to look a little bit like a Haitian immigrant.